Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I want to ask you a question. Have you ever had a time in your life where you got upset with yourself because you're always doing something that you know you shouldn't be doing or there's things that you ought to be doing but you always find time for something else and you don't get around to the most important things that you should do? Well, let me read to you what the Apostle Paul wrote about that in the book called Romans and it's in chapter 7. You can read it yourself. He says this, he says, uh, Wherefore the law is holy, and the commandment is holy, and just, and good. So he's saying that the Bible, the word of God is true, and it's the right thing to do. He says, Was then that which is good made death unto me? God forbid. But sin, that it might appear sin, working death in me, by that which is good, that sin by the commandment might become exceedingly sinful. Sometimes you, you do something... You know you shouldn't do it, but you don't stop and ask God to forgive you, and you don't stop doing it, and you do it again, and each time you do it, it becomes easier and easier to do the wrong thing, and that voice in the back of your head that says it's wrong gets quieter and quieter and quieter, and pretty soon you're off and you're doing things that you shouldn't do, and uh, that could be anything. You put it, you fill in your own blank. He says, we know the law is spiritual, but I am carnal, sold under sin. That means we that live in the flesh, that's all of us, we all have an old sin nature, and that old sin nature is what keeps moving us toward doing things we shouldn't do, and then our spiritual part, if we're a Christian, is in a conflict with our old nature, and we always have this conflict going on inside. He says, uh, for that which I do not do, I allow not. For what I would, that I do I not. But what I hate, that do I. In other words, I'm always doing what I don't want to do, and I don't do what I know that I should do. And that makes you miserable, doesn't it? He says, if then I do that which I would not, I consent under the law that it's good. He says, you know, when you do something that's wrong, the conscience comes up and it says, I shouldn't have done that, and you feel guilty about it. And I re realize then that that God's word and the, the Bible is correct, but you're not living that way. And sometimes you can get to the point you're so discouraged because you don't seem to ever get the victory over it. He says, I know that in me, that is in my flesh, dwelleth no good thing. For to will is present with me, in other words, his desire to do the right thing, it's there, but how to perform that which is good I find not. In other words, he's always finding the easy way is to go the, the way of sin and the hard way is to do the right thing. He says, for I do that I would not. It is no more I that do it, but sin that dwells in me. He's realizing that the reason he's doing the wrong thing is he has a sin nature that makes it easier for him to do that while his conscience is getting upset and he comes under guilt, sometimes people get ashamed of themselves even. And it's because there's this conflict going on spiritually. If you ever wonder, is there a God or not? That's why there's that conflict uh, in, in us. It's the conflict between good and evil always going on within our life. So that's an evidence there really is a God, there really is a right way. He says, but I see another law in my members warring against the law of my mind and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin which is in my members. This is where uh, habits come in. You could get to the place where habitual sin could be drug addiction, alcohol, tobacco, this is so hard to get rid of, um, or uh, gambling, or any other bad behavior. How about like eating too many Cheetos? I don't know, it used to be something like that. It's, it's hard to quit. And then he gets discouraged, he says, oh wretched man that I am. I know he's not and you're not a wretched person. It's just that that's how you feel. You get to the point and you say, I am so disgusted with this. I want to get rid of it. It says, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? And that's where I'm going. There we have a deliverer. His name is Jesus. I thank God through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then with the mind, I myself serve the law of God. That's what he wants to do. But with the flesh, he keeps serving the law of sin, so he gets discouraged. And then there's this great verse. It says, Romans 8, 1, There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. It means when you become a child of God, you're no longer judged, condemned, guilty anymore. 
you're in Christ and he sets you free plus I'll give you a secret he gives you the power to be able to resist those temptations and start living a good life hang around good people God fearing people they're not perfect but they're people who seek to follow God and you can encourage and help them they can help and encourage you okay and your life will get a lot better God bless you